Hello! I just thought to do a little intro to this video before we got started. This project is a restoration for an MS Pac-Man cabinet which we imported for a friend of ours called Aaron who is on one of the UK forums and when we sold it to him he wanted a restoration. He there's a loving term that we have for people who want complete restorations, which is a white gloves collector. And he jokingly said to me, he said, I want it back to white gloves quality. Um, I'd like to thank Aaron for giving us a chance to do this restoration for him, because this is officially probably one of our first customers. I also wanted to do this video and do this intro to let everybody know that if you want a machine restoring, if you've got one coming in or you bought one off eBay and it looks terrible and you want it making a lot nicer, well, either right back to sort of factory or just, and you just don't have the space, the time, the materials and all the rest of it, we have and we're quite happy to do it for you. Uh, so just get in touch with us. Our number's on the bottom of the screen and our details are and they're always in the video description. Um, if you like watching what we do, then Please hit the subscribe button if you haven't already and do give us a thumbs up or a thumbs down depending on which way you're, you're orientated. And um, you know, leave us a comment and ask us any questions. So one other thing I'd like to do is I'd like to thank um, Anthony who's done the 99% of the restore work on this machine. You'll see him mostly in the video doing the work and mostly doing the filming. All I did was fix the PCB when it first came in which was a fairly trivial fix to be fair um anyway so on with the show and um here's us restoring an ms pac-man carrot from its absolute rubbish quality or compared to what it is now quality that it was when it first came to us picture if you will one ms pac-man machine upright and one space heater do you see where we're going no we're not going to burn it um Anybody who's just seen the other video on Twitter, I decided to reshoot the first bit of it because I'd put the phone the right way around. So this is for a friend of ours on UK VAC, Mask Dem, sorting his MS Pac-Man machine out. We've been sat on it for a little while and yes, we've been procrastinating and been chicken about doing the artwork. Um, freely admit we've been uh, chicken about doing it. Uh, it's not a stupendously difficult process, it's just one of those where you've got to get it right in one hit. Get it wrong, it costs you money. Uh, Ant's stripping parts of the machine off at the moment, because the only way you can do this is to take out the T-moulding and the coin door, and basically anything that protrudes from the machine. Uh, this morning we had a Donkey Kong machine here, which was picked up by a customer, and that had, had the artwork applied over the bolts. Fortunately, this Pac-Man doesn't have that problem. So, what's the first process here? Is it sort of sand all the little blemishes out and then fill or anything? Is that what you've got to do first? Um, dig out anything that's loose, make sure it's all solid. Uh huh. Fill it in. Yeah. Sand it, get the edge so it's nice and sharp. Um, possibly fill it again. Yeah. Sand it. Um, Feel any manic defects, fill them in. Oh, yeah, because that's like quite a gouge, that isn't it? That one. Yeah, oh, yeah. Quite deep. Okay. And then a light sanding to give it a surface. Yeah. A nice smooth surface. Something that the artwork can actually bond to. It's not that, it's just because any little tiny lumps in the paintwork, which yeah. wouldn't matter normally, will stick out like a sore thumb on it. Oh, nice. yeah, like that, I can feel there. Of course. <laughs> So, we're not being completely wussy about it by the way, the heater's on out here for a reason. It's because we need to be able to get the filler to dry, otherwise it just hold the job up even further. So this is the prep work, people think it takes about, we got asked, how long does it take to put artwork on? Well, how long's the piece of string? Anyway, we'll come back in a little bit when we've, when we've got some of the fillering done. Uh, I think I'm going to get told to sod off in a minute, but you know. <laughs> And we'll get no doubt get found a job. Other than that, I'm gonna go and look at some PCBs. There we go, Miss Pac-Man's lead on her back. Or on her side at least. Loads of what do you call it? Bog. Bog work. Bog? Why bog? Uh, I don't know. I think it comes from Bondo. Yeah, this is what the Americans call Bondo work. 
P37, uh, is it P37 wood hardener or something like that? Body oh, body filler we're using for this. All right. So full full disclaimer. Um, no doubt a million comments are going to appear in the YouTube vi uh, comments below the video, telling us exactly how we're doing it wrong. Uh, what we won't see is a million comments telling us how to do it right. We'll tell <laughs> everybody will tell us how we're doing it, how so far wrong we're doing it. It's unbelievable, and how can anybody put their trust in us as a service? Well, I'd like to see you lot do better. Anyway. Um, it seems a shame to cover up what's in effect actually not bad artwork, but I understand the um, the gentleman who wants this, Aaron, uh, as I said, he wants it restoring to white gloves collector level. You know, sort of person who puts on sterile white gloves with you know with powder free to play a game. Uh, <laughs> it's an in joke that we have in the collector circle that about uh, it's not a bad term anyway just something that we sort of joke about about people who restore a cab basically back to factory we like cabs with dings on them I and mean, look at that look at all that lot over there we like a few a cab with a few dings on it all right it's been it's been in the wars it's been used in an arcade it's got steph was here on the side of it and things like that character yeah, ca yeah thank you character yeah that's the perfect uh, term for it anyway so how long does this stuff usually take to go off Depends on the temperature. It says 30 minutes, but that's not gonna, it's yeah. two hours. All right. So anybody who's watched the Tron video and heard the noise in the background, this is what's going on. So at the moment, we're turning a perfectly, whoa. Not getting bumped up there, will No, 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 you're fine. <laughs> turning a perfectly good, uh, this is our, our tool hand model. Turning what was a perfectly good MS Pac-Man cab uh, into a bit of a mess at the minute. This is the next stage on, so the Bondo stuff uh, has hardened up overnight. So I'm just going across and smoothing that. Then what, what I'll do is I'll step back here. Uh, in fact, yep, he's going around that side, so I'm not going to get the ass shot anymore. <laughs> I've seen you stepping around that side, so I'm not going to get the ass shot. Um, so what will happen next is that will get sanded and painted. Uh, we'll have to paint the side because it provides um, something for the uh, stickers to adhere to. So it's a better fix than just sticking it straight to the gloss artwork, well, the gloss um, paint that's on the right hand side, uh, on each side anyway. So I was just explaining what you told me in the car this morning, um, albeit over the top of the noise. We've got two crossover videos going on here, by the way. So I'm doing a Tron repair over there. And obviously, while she was sanding, I'm trying to do a recording section. But it's fine, because now I can just basically do this part as well to it. And I see. So we're, san we're sanding to make it smooth. Yeah. yeah, from the filler that you put on yesterday. Mm -hmm. And then you were saying that you're gonna, we're going to apply some paint to it. What type of paint we're putting on? Uh... I'm not 100% sure which way I'm going to go with that at the moment. Okay. Um, so it might, what you're saying is it might be rough enough to put the the sticker straight onto it, or are you still thinking about painting it afterwards? I'm probably going to paint it afterwards. All right. It's just because where the bonder is, yeah. um, you run the risk of it actually peeling off and I'm with you. coming away. And, and also sometimes where hair is as well, it, it's gone a little bit down through to the wood. Yeah, I'm with you. So it won't stick as well to that versus paint where it'll actually stick to got yeah it's quite a nice surface so we don't need to put like sixteen thousand rolls of you know no. coats of uh, brown and also when I uh, put, famous brown paint when i also put the paint down as well yeah it, it will allow me to use um a i can't think of the exact word for it now but basically a, a solution that will allow me to float it out and squeegee air bubbles out whereas if i just stuck it down yeah it, it's down yeah so for anybody you know, so like i say disclaimer again that you know um, there are several ways to apply artwork to a cabinet. This is a, already a pre-treated cabinet, not a originally flat-sided with a sticker on, so like a Nintendo, because we've a, we've a Donkey Kong to do as well. Um, the side art's already here in the side of it. It just wants literally scraping off and putting the new stuff on. Mm -hmm. So that's an easy put on, isn't it? Because it was already adhered to that paintwork. Yeah. Is that, yeah? Yeah, so it, it, I, don't know if, I can't remember if Nintendo's are laminate or if they're actually paint, but it's designed to accept that surface. Yeah, whereas this isn't because it's more of a, would you say it was like a gloss finish more than anything? This, this, I would say was a satin finish. A satin. 
Yes. Really. See, electronics have become... It's been scraped and damaged. You couldn't stick straight onto it anyway. No, just sure. Hideous. Okay. Well, no, it all looks really cool. And I've got to say, if you want you to do an absolute pristine um, restoration... So, super, super sterile white gloves version of it. Yeah. Is that what you're saying? Yes. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I personally would paint the entire cab the original blue colour. Yep. And I would actually make stencils, remake stencils, which wouldn't be that hard. We can actually get the metal stencil, you know, if we fancy doing it. Yeah, and do it that way rather yeah. than... This one's going to be a vinyl whack restoration, yeah. which isn't going to look 100% exact how it would do. No, but, I mean, we it is possible for us to get the stencils made, yeah. and I can get them laser cut um, with a fold-over edge, so they actually become almost production-level applicable. Maybe, if you um, And it would give us... The only thing, I've never worked out which layer order that you do them in. So obviously you put the blue on, wouldn't you? You put yeah. the blue back onto the base coat, that's the obvious one. Blue would be down first, then yellow, then pink, then black. So what you're talking about is out, almost like outside to inside coverage. Is that what you're talking about? I would have thought that you would have put the, the inside coverage on and then built up the yellow no, on the top of it. No, you, you use the yellow first. Yeah. And then the pink because that goes on top of the yellow and it will also act, act, oh. act as like a, a key behind it. Because if the yellow, if the pink was straight onto blue, for example, it would actually suck down the brightness. Yeah. And then the black Got will act as a an oh, edge and hide any misalignments. Like you can see here, for example. Um, the yellow is actually slightly misaligned with the pink, ah. and having the black there hides some of that. Yeah. See, um, there's Todd over in the States, and his guys go over it with a, a fine brush and sort of do colour matching that way, mm -hmm. which uh, is, I think that's, if it's, if it's, um, I think that's probably not a bad way of doing it if it's um, a, uh, what do you call it, if it would literally just touch up work. Mm -hmm. You know, the cabinet was in like, you know, 99% condition already, and you just literally just fill in gaps. There is actually a chance that they do do the yellow and the uh, pink stencil, and the black may well be hand done. Mm. I was looking at it; it looks like it would be a bit show of a pain in the butt. Show me an example. Yeah, oh yeah, around here. It's just like here. Here's a good one. This this looks like it may well have been hand done. So there's a chance that the yellow and the pink were stenciled, and so then this has been hand done by an artist. Okay. Well, I could I could solve that problem for you. Mm -hmm. I could solve that, or you know, either confirm or bust that myth, couldn't we? Well, if I pull out the our MS pack cab and put it right next to it, we could almost do a side by side shot. If that's hand done, there'd be imperfections each time because yeah. the artist would be working literally to an art pattern yeah. rather than a stencil, wouldn't they? Yeah. I think it's stenciled. I mean, it's a pain in the ass stencil, but I think it might be sectional stencil. No, I'm just it's looking at things like this. That's going to be a pain in the butt to be mm. in the 80s to make that out of a stencil. All right, well, hang on a second. Bust the myth. Where is it? Here we go. Right, so here's our MS pack. In its sh slightly shoddy slightly shoddy state. What uh hmm. I can't pull it one handed with the camera. God I need a camera a camera helmet. Uh it's on the sides, isn't it? Oh hang on. Right, so I'm just gonna use eyelashes in the front. Yeah. So three eyelashes on the left. Three and I'd say maybe three on the right as well. It yeah. might, might not be as an easy way to tell versus them little things. So three eyelashes on the front. Okay, let's let's use that as a comparison then. It's got three, but that look that right hand side looks different. Hmm. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? Yeah. Okay, let me just come around here and get a decent uh, shot of it. Yeah, they are different. I mean, ours obviously the artwork's a bit crap on the front. So, huh. So I, I do think that the black may well have been... Hand put on. Yeah. On places here where it's straight, it probably a stencil, but I reckon round here... What you're saying is there's some final finish work that would have been at the time yeah. so unbelievably bad to do in stencil work. Mm -hmm. You just couldn't do it. I mean... Yeah. I don't so know. This looks, the black here looks stenciled. It's too straight. Yes, absolutely. And that almost looks like it's an, a lower layer anyway, that. No, that's that's on the top again. Is it? Yep. Right. I can see because I've actually sanded slightly through to the black and got to the blue there. Yeah. Hmm. 
It is very difficult to tell. Okay, well, I'll not interrupt you anymore. I'll go back to me. I'll go back to my workbench and find out why my reset doesn't work on me Tron. That I managed to jump start momentarily, but now it doesn't want to work. All right, back to the bench we go. A couple of days have gone by, and we now have a white Miss Pac Man cab. Uh, could almost be a Galaxian, like the one that's sat over there. No, it's not. Um, been prepared ready for art to go on uh, inside's been sprayed up as well and neaten which uh, looks a hell of a lot better than what it did um, and the front's been prepared ready so the next step will be to get the front panel art on apparently and then um, work on put the, t the team holdings arrive for it put that on and uh, we can work on the sign art at the same time. Um, so apparently what Anthony's going to do is just explain to me. And I didn't know that this was the way. So he's going to basically put the side art on and then fold it over, just so trim it so it'll just fold over just into this edge here so then the, the uh, team molding will hold the remainder onto it all the way down and around rather than just relying on the glue to hold it on, which is, I think, a hell of a lot better suggestion than that. hell of a lot better way of doing it. Anyway, that's that section done. It just takes... It takes time to do all these. As anybody who's done a restore, restoration on a, a cab will know that it just takes time. You're going to wait for you're waiting around for the paint most of it. Yes, right. Let's then get on with it. Okay, we've moved up to the other end of the workshop where it's warmer because we brought that over with us, and it's time to put the front plate on. And we're shitting it, uh, to say the least. Uh, no, it, no, we're absolute professionals. Uh, this is not a hard job for us to do. It's just, um, it's not one of our caps. Therefore, it's kind of like, you know, we take more pride in it than just, you know, slosh it on. It'd be right. You know, it's only going to get picked up by somebody's urchin at a show. Because <laughs> that's what seems to happen with them all. Uh, I suppose the trick here is, have we lined it up? Yes. In that case, then, I'm not sure where we go next. I could drop it a fraction that way. Yeah. Because the, the thing's there. Yeah. But I'm bearing in mind that the kick plate goes here anyway. Oh, actually, sorry, so man. I don't want to drop it too much because the kick plate will hide it. Yeah, I mean, you trim it off anyway, don't yeah. you? Yeah, the overlap is about even on both ends at the moment. So I mean, do you, want, do you want to go to ours and measure up from the, the edge to where that is? And then we've got the. You know, we do have a reference. Uh, I can do. Yeah, no, it might not be a bad idea. I mean, ultimately, what we're looking at is getting it centred. Although, I'm not sure if that part's hidden under the kick plate, just to be super annoying. Well, I always pick a reference point then, don't we? Uh, yeah. Over here in the many rows of machines. Now, nah, here we go. Uh, so, go to the bottom of uh, Miss Pac Man's foot. The idea is, a head, I think a head doesn't have to get clipped by the coin door. Two, two. How much? One two two. Right. One twenty two millimeters. One twenty two mils, or probably about you know sixteen and oh, oh, three eighteenths or something like that in in imperial. And silly measurements that the the Americans use. Imperial makes no sense. No. <laughs> so I was really smoking some bad drugs that day. Anything, it's a fraction lower. Is it? Yeah, it's like three mil lower. Right. Okay. So the thing, the thing is though, if I rub my finger just gently here, mm -hmm. I can feel. Nobody will be able to see this on the video, but I can feel the the bolt for the coin door there, which means that this area doesn't overlap the coin door. Therefore, that's fine. Yeah. So, well, look, if I. Uh, it's all about, uh, all I understand is it's all about getting it centred. Yep, that that, is, that's why I've got yeah. it there now, it's centred on the yeah. bleed on both ends. So. Well in that case then, let's just get on with it. Because the more <laughs> we stand here and think about it, the longer it's going to take. I'm going to open door. <laughs> yeah, I understand that. <laughs> well, what, what have you learned? I just know this ship is a lot thinner and easier to rip than I thought. I actually thought it would be fairly rip resistant to be fair. Um, 
another thing that I'm going to do if I do this in future. Yeah. Is any parts where it gets cut on, on i.e. where I'm doing now, mm. that will get blacked out around. It doesn't matter on this because it's going to be hidden behind stuff, but because you can see white and shit. Ah. I'm with you. Obviously, like I say, on this one, it's not that big a thing. No. Is it is it easier with the uh, Stanley knife? Sorry, the the scalpel versus, say, like a Stanley. Yeah. The front spindle we taped it on its side at this point. What you can see, I don't know if it'll come out on the camera. I can just see it through the viewfinder, so it should be visible. Is you can see still even after what two coats is this? Yeah. Yeah. Um, you can still see. Uh, the, the original artwork there, there's the outline of it and everything now. Obviously we're going to put the new one to it and it will cover it up. Now what we're talking about is the fact that when you, uh, what Anthony was just saying was when you put the artwork on and you raise the edges you still see the white slightly. So... Not on this part because you've got the T-moulding and yeah. I'm going to wrap it around. It's, it's on the parts specifically at the back when it wraps around because it won't stay on, it lifts. Is it Let's worth it doing the back though? As in the very back edge. Well, I have to cut it along oh, this edge. Right, you know, got cut you. Cut the over spill. Got you. That's the problem that I've got. Right. So, what what are you thinking about doing then? Sort of what masking tape the edge and just give it a quick spray, or no, I'd, I'd just literally spray as is. Right. Should we not just blacken the sides? Mm -hmm. Should should is white the correct? Unfortunately, that's what colour the primer comes in. Is white. Ah. Uh, <laughs> see, my shoes are still <laughs> stuck full of um, bits of off-cut uh, artwork now. about a 15 foot drop.
beside that, is it? Uh, not beside that, the um, team building. <laughs> yes, it's in the office. We now return to Big Arcade Hoarders. Dun dun dun. What have we hoarded today? Hmm. And now we're on the other side of the cab. So this is the the scary mofo bit. Do something. I could do with a tripod or something. I think I have one somewhere. <laughs> I've got the snooker angle here. <laughs> you know, the cab framed exactly like a snooker table. Yeah. <laughs> 141. <laughs> so we're now applying, applying the British version of Rapid Tack. Secret, mmm, smells nice. Secret vinyl application formula. Mmm. Last time I was getting so annoyed trying to peel the back enough. Do you want me to come and hold something for you? Are you sure? Yeah.
gorgeous. Well, we're almost done with this now. Ant's got it on its back and he's started to put the tea moulding on it. It's kind of nestled here in between uh, Donkey Kong and a Popeye. Um, up around here. Yeah, so I think what he's done is he's gone the whole way around. Now this is a case of needing staples. Uh, and Oh, nice no, stapled it in. It's done. Man, that looks amazing. He hasn't done... Oh yeah, sorry, it's on the front that gets it anyway. No, looks amazing. This is a restore that I'm very, very, very pleased with the outcome of. Uh, it's been very time consuming, but well worth, excuse me, well worth doing. Uh, right, well, I'm going to leave him to finish it off and put the rest of the stuff back into it. But yeah, that's absolutely smashing. So you had to do the perfect resto on this MS Pac-Man and put some black paint on the bolts because the bolts were rusted as hell. In the meantime, I'll try to get the toilet light working properly. <laughs> and let's see, it's a, hey, it goes off. Go on, go on, walk in there. Yay! You wouldn't believe how right how important a, a PIR censored LED light in the toilet system is when you shut the door and you forget to turn the light switch off permanently. <laughs> anyway, back to the restorer. So here, let's watch some paint dry. Right, so for watching paint dry. Right then, this is it. It's done. It's all back up on its feet. Now let's have a look how gorgeous it is. I haven't got it switched on at the minute, but trust me, it works. And I've added some um, matting at the bottom, some uh, rubber retainer to act as a kick mat at the bottom. Gorgeous. Uh, we haven't read on the coin door, we haven't read on the control panel, and the bezel is as Cayman sells the marquee. The owner has elected to sort these bits out if he so chooses himself. He just wants it now back in time for Christmas. It's been sat with us for a little while, but we're waiting parts coming in. There's no point with a lot of these starting on until you've got all the parts. Anyway, that is it. We have finished a beautiful Pac-Man restore for, for a customer. Amazing. It's turned out really, really well. This. Really pleased with the work Andy's put into this. Quality the artwork that we got from the US for it. All brand new team holding applied. All the way down. New art all the way around it. Front, sides, been primed and everything as you've seen. Well, that's it. If you want to have us shop one of your cabs for you, then just get in touch. We can take one that you already have or one that you're bringing in. Uh, we don't mind which way. Anyway, that's it for this video. Do hit the old subscribe button if you'd like to see more of what we do. Uh, a like goes a long way and if you want to ask anything or just give us some feedback use the comments boxes below so until the next video we'll say adieu ta for now